Now a 13 year old boy in custody this afternoon after police say someone opened fire outside the Garfield Park Fieldhouse shooting two teenagers. CBS 2's Mai Martinez joins us live now from Strozier Hospital in Mai. That shooting happened after a basketball game. It did, Erica, and one of those teens was pronounced dead after arriving here at Stroger Hospital. The other was last listed in serious condition. As to what led to this deadly chain of events, as you said, it seems to have been prompted by a fight following a basketball game. This was the chaotic scene outside the Gold Dome in Garfield Park around 9 last night as a basketball tournament wrapped up and calls about the unruly crowd started coming in. Roosevelt Central Park, there are 100 people with are fighting with guns and knives. That was a police officer, but then people in the crowd started calling too. This complaint states a uh, game the defeated is beating up the team and the coaches at one. About a minute later, this call. 140 shots fired. 1140 shots fired at the Golden Dome tent. Two boys ages 15 and 14 were hit by the bullets. The 15-year-old, identified as Ken Juan Park, died. He was a student in Marshall High School and played on the football team. The 14-year-old was hit in the stomach but survived. We need EMS in front of uh, uh, Park House. As dozens of people scattered, Chicago police located a person of interest whose sources say is 13 years old. We have one in custody, but one gun recovered. We're good for it right now. At this time, Chicago police are not saying if the 13-year-old is the suspected shooter or if he was just someone in the crowd with a gun. Sources say a 13-year-old was, however, charged with unlawful use of a weapon. Chicago police are not confirming that at this time. Reporting live from Stroger Hospital, Mai Martinez, CBS2 News. Erica. Mai, thank you.